Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. So, the word is out that YouTube is going to be changing a lot of their policies and they are going to be getting rid of a lot of sp specific types of firearm related content. And that's got a lot of people thinking that they are thinking about just leaving YouTube altogether. Uh, and I get it. I get that. I, uh, there are th certainly things about YouTube's policies that I don't much care for myself. One of the reasons that Patreon is such an important or critical uh, part of keeping my channel going is that I do not get, by the way, link below for as little as a dollar a month, you can join and support the channel, <laughs> uh, is that I don't get very much revenue at all off of the channel from, from ads and, and all that. Almost every single video that I upload gets blacklisted, at least at the beginning, as being offensive to advertisers or whatnot. And uh, uh, whenever they get reviewed, more often than not, they, you know, the, the reviewer will look and say, oh, this is just a video about spending more time with your kids, or this is just a video about gardening, or, or whatever. And then they'll, they'll turn ads back on, but that, that's after the initial giant surge of people watch it, and then, like, you know, nobody watches it after that. So there's certainly things about YouTube that I dislike as well, but more than any of that, what's more important than any of that stuff to me is getting these messages out to people, getting the message of preparedness out to people, of living with a smaller footprint out to people. I think those messages, getting out to more people, makes the world a better place, makes it a safer place. And I think to me that's more important than making a statement on anyone uh, or taking a stance on any one of uh, you know these disagreements that I you know I share with a lot of people about about YouTube. So I'm planning on staying at, at least while YouTube is the biggest platform around for getting these messages out, uh, out to people. And I would implore a lot of you guys to stay too. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that you know, I fall on more of the left-hand side of the... Is this the left or the right? Okay, okay that's the left, yeah. The left-hand side of the spectrum. I, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a tree-hugging vegetarian... I've never been to Starbucks ever, but... Uh, and I do own firearms, but I definitely fall on that left-hand side of the spectrum the way that most people would classify me. I'm not a big fan of labels. I think they're usually used to just divide people up, but yeah, okay, yeah, I'm more from the left-hand side from the, than the right-hand side. And I would not want my channel to turn into a left-wing echo chamber if a lot of the people that are more on the right-hand side of the spectrum, right, uh, decide to leave because of this policy change. Uh, in particular, I know that there are specific people that have said that they are planning on leaving, and I would really, I would really miss you guys because you push back uh, and you make me think, and you make other people that read the civil discourse that we have in the comment section. Other people are reading that, and you're making other people think too. I would hate to lose that. I think that the community would be lessened without your voice. I think the more people from more different perspectives that are chiming in on these things, the smarter we, <coughs> sorry, the smarter we all get. Uh, and the less uh, lazy we all get in our own thinking. So I would encourage you guys to stay. I, I, I'd kind of compare it to an al analog if there was a library and they got rid of their comic book section because they said, oh, the comic books are too violent, you know? And someone was saying, well, I'm just going to, you know, not go to that library anymore because, you know, I, I disagree with that. For they themselves, I think they'd also be hurting themselves because maybe you're missing out on that, but there's also still a lot of good information at that library, and there's also still a lot of good material on YouTube that, you know, you can enrich yourself, uh, you know, if you keep yourself exposed to it. Now, you know, are the firearms videos, you know, not going to be there? No, they're not, but there's still a lot here that, you know, people can uh, enjoy and benefit from, and, well, this for instance. Where else are you going to get this? Gamma. Delta. That actually exists. That's on my kids' channel. There's a link below to that if you guys want it. It's a channel with a ball. It teaches all sorts of different alphabets and things like that. So that video actually exists. That's my dog, by the way. Mermaiding. That's what we call it. He'll drag his legs on the ground and we say, he's mermaiding. You know, so I decided to make that video. Kids seem to like it. Anyway, there's a lot on YouTube, even though that one thing is going away. And I encourage you guys to stick around. Please keep your voice in the community. I think that... It, the whole community would be diminished if we lost you guys because the more points of view that we have, I think the more we all think about the idea that our one view isn't the only view out there. And having a civil discourse with people of a diverse set of background opinions, I think is critical and we don't want to lose you. So that's it. I'm going to stick around. I hope you guys stick around too. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.